I got a message from Chris last week saying that Chris had created an easy to remember seed phrase to generate a wallet. I don't know exactly how, I'm assuming using one of the web generators that exist or some other script to generate it. But essentially the idea is that instead of generating the seed from a random number as a hardware wallet will do, and as the BIP39 specification requires, you can pick words from the dictionary at least you can pick the first 11 words from the dictionary and then calculate a 12th word that will work or several 12th words that will work as a checksum. And there's little software packages that can do that. A classic example of that is a development platform on Ethereum called Cake, which used as its example seed, and this blew my mind the first time I saw it, it used all of the words from the BIP39 dictionary that had to do with baking and cake. All of the words that you can imagine that out of the 2048 words that are in the BIP39 dictionary that had to do with cake, and they had constructed it rather cleverly so that the 12th word was also cake related. And it was cute. You can pick a non-random seed. You can simply do a seed like above, 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 above 11 times, and then figure out which word makes it a valid seed by creating a valid checksum for the 12th word. So it might be above, above, above 11 times, and then the last word might be bottle, let's say bottle. So it's above, 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 above 11 times, and then it's bottle. And the last word has to be a checksum, a valid checksum, otherwise it's not a valid seed. Well, guess what happens if you do that? And Chris did that. People have already generated a whole bunch of obvious or related word seeds that are repeats of the same words with a valid checksum because they assumed that people would do that, just like people have done so for very simplistic brain wallets, as they were called in the early days of Bitcoin, where people would take a phrase like Mary has a little lamb, and they would hash that phrase and turn that into a Bitcoin private key. So what people did was they ran terabytes of possible word combinations, created databases of all the possible keys and stored, yeah, just like people using password as their password or let's go Lakers or some very simple phrase like that, may the force be with you. And people have created dictionaries of such easy to guess sequences. And the dictionaries are in databases that have the corresponding Bitcoin address and the corresponding private key pre-generated. When you pre-generate hashes or keys or things like that, that's called a rainbow table. It's a common technique used to crack easy to guess passwords. And people will then run another script that looks at every transaction that goes across the blockchain, looking for a payment to one of the addresses that are in their database. So every transaction will come by, they'll look at all of the outputs and they'll say, do any of these addresses belong to our database? Which with a database is very quick function to run. And as soon as they find a payment to one of these, they ask the database, well, what was the private key that we've pre-computed to this? They're not figuring out the private key from the public key. They figured out the private key first for obvious seeds and then calculated the Bitcoin address that corresponds to it. So they have the private key. And then they immediately spend the money that was sent to that. It appears that Chris managed to fall into that trap, had a friend send an amount, which was not an insignificant amount, like a dollar. I always recommend sending an insignificant amount at first, although that's no guarantee because these scammers are smart enough. They're not going to go and spend the moment you do a dollar. They're going to wait until you do a bigger one and it will automatically swipe your money, which is exactly what happened in this case. And, and Chris lost some money from that. Do not generate seeds that are not random. I hope that was a good explanation. Very sorry to hear this, Chris. It sucks. Some of these lessons you unfortunately learn best the hard way. I hope that wasn't a life altering amount for you. I hope you enjoyed that video. 
If you'd like to support me in my mission of educating people about Bitcoin and open blockchains all around the world, and publishing free content under Creative Commons licenses, please consider subscribing to the channel, sharing this video, as well as supporting me on patreon.com. Thank you.